So welcome to this workshop on STM32WB on the firmware upgrade feature that we have on this device. My name is Marcus, I'm the technical marketing uh, manager for the Nordics. Uh, so I'm giving this marketing presentation today. I believe the, the product is pretty well known, so it's a very short marketing introduction. So to just give you some background, if you haven't seen this product before and uh, wonder where it's coming from, we have BLE knowledge in, uh, in ST since long time before. So in this uh, RF division, they have been working on uh, BLE components for quite some while. So you have ma mainly the Blue Energy MS uh, Dash 1 and Dash 2 that are in current production. And now from the MCU department, we have um, the STM32WB family. So it's a setup of BLE uh, 5.0, but also a Mac layer for I, uh, IEEE 802.15.4. Uh, so um, what we have done here is that we have taken the platform from STM32L4 and combined that with the Bluetooth knowledge of, uh, of the RF division and given us the STM32WB product. So it's a new mem member of our portfolio that is now the wireless MCUs. So the approach is to uh, make it effective PCB design and also to uh, target the cost of the BOM and the total system. So as you can see here on the portfolio, uh, you have now a new segment on the bottom here, the, the wireless MCUs, where the WB is the first one to be out. You also see that now on the portfolio, of course, on the top, we have the new MPUs as well, as you have seen in the other workshops. So uh, the feature set on the STM32WB, uh, uh, the white boxes here, you see that they are mainly uh, what you expect from a general purpose MCU. And then you have the purple box here, where you have the RF front end, which is also powered by its own core. Uh, on the side, you see you uh, have some uh, low power number uh, there for active mode and for stop. And for shutdown as well, you have a listing of the peripherals. Uh, you can also see the input voltage and that it can be powered both from uh, DC-DC and uh, LDO. So it's uh, one of the first devices that came out which uh, have this support in native setup. And you also have the temp range there from minus 40 to plus uh, 105. So the setup of the device is mainly uh, when you break it down like this. So you have the Cortex-M4 uh, where you can put your application code. And then you have the Cortex-M0 which is taking care of the radio stack, the timings and all the tricky stuff you need for your RF uh, communication. So the, what we have been targeting is uh, flexibility and the ease of development and also that you can reuse your previous knowledge from STM32 and uh, still uh, be able to achieve that on a BLE platform. Uh, and yeah, ev ending up with uh, time to market, being as fast as possible and uh, one solution to do, uh, to do it all. So the dual core setup might seem a bit intimidating to start with uh, because you have the two cores, you have... Um, 2.4 gigahertz radio and so on and so on. So what you can consider the the uh, second core is a is a, co a radio coprocessor and in most cases it can be considered as a black box. So it's it's as close as we will come to a peripheral that is running BLE for you. So then I added another slide also for breaking it down more in in detail for the different peripherals inside the part. So when you're in front of customers, you can you can view this slide and you can look at it and you can go through all the different devices or uh, peripherals on the device if there is questions to what what's embedded really inside the part. Also on the slide here, you can see that you have uh, your uh, radio characteristics for what we support and the output power, the sensitivity, and uh, your link budget and so on. And also the current consumption is captured on this slide. The peripherals once again, and a little bit more on uh, the power. And then, of course, in the bottom you see the, the packages that we have. And if you have seen this slide before, I can point you to one addition now. So we have a BGA package for this device. Previously, we only had a CSP, which is not popular with industrial customers. But this BGA, uh, as for the rest of this product, has been really thought through. So it's a, a very nice setup of the BGA package that allows you to realize it on uh, very few layers of PCB and to avoid uh, laser vias and so on. Uh, on the software side uh, for BLE, we have BLE 5.0, uh, we have ThreadStack available, we have recently also now purchased Zigbee Stack. So it's not posted uh, available yet, but we're working to make it mass market ready so you, we, you will have access to it going forward. And you also have a generic Mac layer uh, availability so you can put a proprietary stack uh, on it as well. So if you want to go for Zigbee today, 
this is the, the option you, you, you can stick with. Then if you can wait a little bit later this year, you, can get, you will get access to, uh, to the Zigbee setup as well. For demos uh, going forward, so what we already uh, demonstrated at this training last year was Bluetooth and Thread, and also most importantly doing concurrent setup, so Bluetooth and Thread at the same time. So this was in a static setup at this time. Uh, later this year, so in, uh, hopefully in Q3, if the time plan sticks, we will do the same thing but with Zigbee instead. And then uh, going on to Q4, we will do uh, Bluetooth and Zigbee or Bluetooth and Thread on a dynamic switching schedule instead. So that's the demos that we are bringing out. Uh, on the deliverables uh, that we have ready today is the Bluetooth 5.0 uh, uh, with Mesh 1.0 uh, setup and the profiles. On the stack for the 802.15.4 we have OpenThread and the generic layer. You shortly be added for the Zigbee as well. Concurrent mode, we can uh, do that for static uh, and dynamic. And then you will have the static and uh, dynamic setup for the Zigbee 3.0 as well. On the hardware side, we have the STM32WB55, which is the device you're using today. Uh, by the end of the year, you will see the smaller version coming out, so it's going to be called WB35. And then we are currently in design for the third iteration on the WB series to uh, bring out even more competitive devices. So with that, I hand it over to uh, Martin to take you through the, the practical side of the workshop.